Hey you guys, Lauren with One Haven Maven. Today my video is all about how to deal with stress and overwhelm. And so I hope that you'll walk along with me as I share these tips with you. These are things that have truly helped me and I hope that they help you too. If they do, please like this video, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this, and don't forget to share it with anyone else who might be feeling the same way. My first tip for you today might seem selfish, but it is not. And that is that you need to take care of yourself first. As a mom and a wife and a friend and a sister and all of the hats that you wear, you have a lot on your shoulders. I totally get it. And so you need to make sure that you're taking care of yourself first before you can take care of other people. And to me, that means that you need to establish good, healthy morning routine. And I shared this in my recent video, my morning routine video, which you can watch after this one. But for me, it's taken a lot of time to develop that, but now I notice a huge difference if I skip a day or get out of my routine. What I like to do is I love to start with a healthy breakfast, and then I sit down and I love to read my scriptures and say a prayer. For me, this is the opportunity to just kind of clear my mind and just have some time when the house is quiet and I can really focus on my day and on how I'm feeling and it just makes me feel good. So whether you're a Christian or not, maybe you have a book that you like to read that's really inspiring and uplifting, or maybe you like to say some affirmations, whatever it is, just spend some time reading something or saying a prayer and just starting your day sort of reflecting and having some quiet time. Another really important part of taking care of you is getting enough water. And this is not something that I am great at, but I'm working on it. And so I try to drink as much as possible and exercising in the morning really helps me do this because I always drink at least one full glass of water while I'm working out. Exercise is a great stress reliever. And you know what? I know not everyone loves to work out. I totally get that. And I don't know that I love working out per se, but I love the feeling afterwards. I just feel like I can like take on the world. So find something that you love, go for a walk, or maybe it's riding a bike or going for a swim if you have somewhere to swim or maybe just doing some at-home workouts like I'm doing here. I tend to rely on YouTube a lot. But for me, just having that like 20 or 30 minutes of movement in the morning just really makes me feel great. I know most people have a to-do list. However, one thing I've noticed when I'm feeling really stressed is sometimes it's because my to-do list is way too long and there's no possible way I can accomplish everything on my list in that day. So I'd encourage you to pick maybe three to five things that you want to accomplish each day and write them down and just stick to that plan. If you have a plan, I feel like you're a lot more likely to get those things done and it won't be nearly as overwhelming if you just keep it simple. And don't forget, just because we have a lot of things on our to-do list, it doesn't mean we have to do them all right now. Most of those things will still be there waiting for us when we're ready to get to them. One thing that's taken me a lot of years to get to, and I'm still working on it, is asking for help. Sometimes as women, I think that we forget or we just think it's not okay. Maybe it's a sign of weakness or incapability when we have to ask for help. But that's what we're here for is to help each other. So ask your kids, ask your husband, ask your family, ask your friends. If you're feeling like life is just too much, then get some help. I have never asked for help and had people been like, oh no, I'm sorry, I'm too busy, I can't help you. Okay, sure, maybe sometimes my kids complain or moan and groan, but that's when you just need to make it fun. You say, hey, will you help me for like a half an hour just do this or that, and then let's have some ice cream or let's play a game or let's just do something together, maybe watch a movie or just, just something to make it fun. Sometimes all we need is a break. So don't forget to stop and take breaks and just take a time out. You know, when kids are little, we have them take naps or go spend some quiet time in their room. And sometimes as adults, we need that very same thing. So for me, that usually means getting outside. I love nature and it's just, it's so refreshing to me and rejuvenating somehow. So I love to go outside and just walk around and listen to the birds or go sit by the pond and look at the fish and the frogs. And it just really relaxes me and helps me to just sort of take a mental break from everything that's going on in my day. And it makes me feel so good.
My fifth tip for you today is to focus on one thing at a time. Our bedroom was clearly neglected and it's sort of a sign of how busy we are right now and I needed to tackle it, but I sometimes find that I'll start working on a task and then I carry some things from one room to another and then I get distracted by something else. So instead of squirreling out, we need to focus on one thing at a time and get that done. Maybe you need to set a timer and try to get everything done in that amount of time, or maybe you need to put on one of your favorite songs and try to beat the song, play a game with yourself. But whatever the course of action you decide to take, you need to find something that works for you and just focus on the task at hand and get it finished before you move on to something else. It's really amazing to me the power that gratitude has in our lives. I think that in those stressful, crazy moments, just recognizing all of the good things that we have in our life can dispel some of that negativity that we're feeling. So I love to take some time when I remember to sit down and write the things that I'm grateful for. So on this day, I actually had a lot of things that came to mind. Sometimes there's only one or two, but I love writing them down and then going back and rereading them on those days where I just feel like nothing is going right. Sometimes when I'm having a particularly stressful day, I realize that I'm kind of holding my breath. I'm not really breathing like I normally would, like taking real deep breaths. And so I have this breathe app on my Apple watch. If you have an Apple watch, it should be already on there. And the great thing about it is it really encourages you to take deep breaths. I think it goes for about a minute and it'll actually remind you too, if you let it. And so it's a great reminder throughout the day to really take some deep breaths and just kind of relax and breathe and just refocus yourself. Of course, there are other ways to do this too. There's meditation or yoga or just sitting and taking some deep breaths and just really trying to just calm down and relax yourself and clear your mind. The most important tip I have to share today is to remember that this is just a moment in time. Things are kind of crazy and weird in the world right now and I feel like that's causing a lot of people to feel overwhelmed and stressed and unsure. And I was included. I had a couple weeks where I was feeling super overwhelmed and these are things that really helped me and that's why I wanted to share them because I know that I am not the only one. And so if this video helped you, please share it with others who might be feeling the same way. It would mean the world to me if I I could help women. That is my whole goal of having this channel. If you like this video, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe so you can see my next video, which will be coming up next week. Bye.